One of the many victims of that vengeance was Colt quarterback Marty Domres, who fell four times to the reckless avalanche of green. But it wasn't just the front four that got their licks in, as seen when safety Burgess Owens struck Raymond Chester hard enough to cough up the ball. Number 27, Phil Wise, scooped up the fumble and hightailed it 80 yards for the score. But if anyone had a vendetta going last Sunday, Joe Willie was the man, and with 15 of his 21 passes right on, he wasn't to be denied. Just before the half, the defense poured through again, and this time number 84, defensive end Mark Lomas, caused a Colt turnover. And with the jet set to take off from his own 40, Coach Howard Snellenberger was rapidly approaching the boiling point. After checking off all five receivers, Joe picked Jerome Barkham on the Colt 27. Two plays later, Namath fired a shot to Emerson Boozer, who always is a hungry man near the goal. With the score jet 17 Colts nothing, halftime at Shea Stadium was a joyous boogaloo. But late in the third quarter, the Colts on the heels of number 35, Glenn Doughty started to reverse that score. Five plays later, George Hunt's field goal started the Colt comeback. Following a Joe Namath engineered field goal, Domres countered with a big gainer to Tom Mitchell. But the big hitter was this flea flicker from Domres to former Texas star Cotton Spire, who quickly connected with wide open receiver Glenn Doughty for the score. With the Colts closing at 20 to 10, Joe Namath, with all the time in the world, momentarily lost his head. Linebacker Ted Hendricks pulled it in, and five plays later, the score was narrowed to 20 to 17. On the next series, the Jets stalled out, and the Colts took over with a lob to Spire, who broke three tackles to get into sure field goal range. But an inexcusable holding penalty pushed the kids from Baltimore back to the 40. And with a minute 52 remaining, George Hunt's reaction says it all. The 20 to 17 decision dropped the Colts to a dismal two and 10 record, which was just fine by the sweetly vindicated Jets.